if you have made your way here from part one, hello, welcome. If not, and you want to see how this little book came to be, I have part one up on my channel and I will link it in the description for you. So go and check that out to see how I made this cute little envelope book. Then we are going to decorate it over here. So I have got my tiny eyelets out and I'm trying to choose a nice beach themed one. I got these, I think, from a friend who was de-stashing a lot of their craft stuff. And she gave me a bunch of these little beachy themed ones. And I think this peach starfish matches perfectly. So I'm adding that on the spine and I'm planning to add some kind of little dangle from there. I'm not sure if I add that in this video, I don't think I do, but um, I will definitely come back and make that with you guys when I do. Putting together a sequin mix that matches the front cover here. So I've got a mix that I that I um, made, sorry, to match the Lollipop Box Club kit a while back. And I'm adding some other bits, so some blue dolphins, some peachy colours, trying to pull all the colours from the front here. And I actually really struggled making this. And I know that my good friend Nicole would have been able to fix this in minutes. And I wished I was on a live so I could ask her. But in the end, I think we end up with something that matches quite nicely. This purpley colour, I think, is what pulls it together. And then it's time to make a shaker. So I grab out all sorts of dies. In the end, I go with these heart tag ones, which are from... Somewhere on AliExpress. I will find the link. If you're interested, let me know in the comments and I will find the link for you. They have a little heart cut out at the top and I'm just stacking two of them to create a shaker. Holding them in place with some washi tape to cut out the frame that I will use as the edge of my shaker. And this Gemini mini die cutter gets so much use. It's one of the best purchases I've made. I have a bigger die cutter, but I definitely pull this one out the most. Anything that fits in there goes straight through. I do add the foam tape to the edge and then stick it down on the acetate and realise I need acetate stuck directly to the card, don't I? <laughs> I've made a huge mistake there. So I pull it up and it actually works out okay because I pull it up, I put normal double-sided tape on the back of the tag, cut that out, and then I can still use the foam tape with the acetate behind to just create a completely clear shaker. Obviously, I'm going to add my sequins. There we go. Pop a bunch of those inside. And then obviously, I've pulled most of the sticky off of that foam tape. So I use some Nouveau glue to stick it down. Those thin tape strips are a game changer. So Cheryl recommended them to me. They have a set on scrapbook.com, but I actually got these ones from Amazon. And again, if you'd like the link, leave me a comment and I will find it for you. They are perfect for making shakers. So stick that down. And then I just need to trim around the edge and we have a cute shaker tag. Using that as my main piece for my cluster on the book here, more of these little strips to make sure the tag is standing up as it should do on the paper. There's obviously gaps where the acetate isn't, so it's not quite high enough the whole way across, so I'm just adding some extra there. I like my embellishments to make sense. Um, I'm not sure the best way to explain it, but... This little cluster is going to sort of show an example the best. I like my embellishments and things, if they're going to be, so this is beach themed, to make a scene. They need to make sense to me. So I go ahead and add the giant parasol, which I love, this beach umbrella. And then I need to add something that makes that work. And this beach towel, again, perfect. They work great together. And they have great proportions to each other as well, actually. This little crab is super sweet. I've got the fishing rod there because you would maybe fish at the beach. Some sun cream. I couldn't go ahead and add like the um, lighthouse to this or 
a big flower or something. I need it to make sense in my head. So I've got the beach umbrella, the towel, this sign says it's going to be a good day and that is something I think you would find on a beachy scene. Some seashells, what else do I grab? This is the Rosie Studio Keeping Cool collection if anyone's wondering. I can link that down below as well for you so it's easy to find. And I have two ephemera packs mixed together here. So I have the icons and the sentiments packs all just smushed together in this little tub here. I like these little water droplets. I think they add something sort of splashing up from my little scene. And I decide I like it enough to start sticking stuff down. <laughs> so these strips again coming in clutch for that little beach umbrella um pole at the bottom there adding a few more across sticking that on and then replacing all of the bits that i chose earlier so my beach towel and such oh more tape up here apparently because i've got the tag already on foam tape i need the umbrella to be on two squares of foam tape so too high so that it stands up nicely. There we go. That's where I want it to be. More foam tape on the towel. I do love foam tape. I think adding dimension really adds a lot to a project. I don't know why, it just makes my layers pop a bit better, I think. Hot glue for the sign. I love the colours in this collection. And the pieces work really well together. I have got a bucket and spade here. There's a good mix in this collection of beachy things and then just pretty florals and rainbows and banners and that sort of thing. So I'm excited to use those. I definitely leaned hard into the beach theme for this one. So I'm excited to use the other bits on another project. A couple of shells here that I literally just moved around to. I like the look of them. Grab them with my tweezers and put them down with some hot glue. This little fish is sweet. I thought I'd have him just jumping past the hook. <laughs> He's just made it. He's got his freedom. Adding this little water splash. I add three of these in total. I look at adding that SPF, that sun cream. I don't think I make, um, I don't think I add it, sorry, I don't think it makes it. I think this little crab does instead. And I love him, he's so sweet. More foam tape. Putting him down on the towel. Like he's in charge of the whole scene. <laughs> there we go. This little gold shell is beautiful, this little swirl. So I find a spot for that. Then there's the third little water splash that I add. I think it frames the scene nicely to have the three. And it also gives me a great base to add my gems and enamel dots later on. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. I'd love to see you around here again, joining me for all sorts of crafty videos. Adding my final little fish on there. Looks like the two of them have gone for a jump out of the sea. <laughs> Making waves is the little sentiment that I've chosen for down there. This is one of the puffy stickers. And I really like the font on these. So that ends up in the bottom corner. Gems, my favorite part of every project, have to add some gems. And I'm just adding those in different spots around the edge. Adding some enamel dots too from the Keeping Cool collection. I don't usually get the matching enamel dots because I have so many variations in my stash. But it's actually been a really nice luxury to have these ones. And know that they match your collection perfectly. I really think they add something to this project. A little bit of something extra. Changing it up different sizes, different colours. I like to add them in odd numbers. I don't know why, I'm not sure if it's habit or, but I just think they look best if they're added in 
um, threes or fives. Moving some of them around. I am forever moving enamel dots and gems. Please tell me I'm not the only person that does that. There must be other crafters that just can't choose where to put the gems. Prime example, I grab all of these enamel dots from that cluster and move them over. And I stand by my decision because I think it looks better there, but I'm not sure why I didn't just do that in the first place. And I think we are very nearly complete. And I have no idea what I'm going to put inside this album, so if you have any ideas, let me know. I might turn it into a little happy mail and just send it out to a friend. I use this really pretty trim to tie a bow around the edge. This is, I think it's Sari Silk, and um, Shara Crane recommended it. She uses it for her traveller's notebooks. And I bought a bunch of it, and I thought it just looked really sweet on this little envelope flip book. Here is our project all finished. Thanks so much for hanging out and crafting with me and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out part one if you haven't already. Bye!